To get a good realistic orchestral sound, you need to get rid of unwanted frequencies. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can do that and I'm going to share with you my updated project file. Hi there, this is David from Ghost Rider Music and I create videos about how to write orchestral music for film and video. So if you want to get better in this, in orchestration, in creating more realistic orchestral mockups and other related stuff, then start now by subscribing and clicking that little bell. Many libraries contain unwanted frequencies, for example floor sounds, the low frequencies, the low rumble. and you don't hear them when you are listening to one single instrument. But when you are composing a music track with, for example, 50 tracks, 50 different instruments, and they all contain those unwanted frequencies, they can be a problem for your composition, for your mix, and uh, eventually for your master file. So you want to get rid of those unwanted frequencies as soon as possible. And we are going to fix this in the orchestral template, which we are creating at this moment. I already did a video about EQ cleanup. So if you haven't checked that out, it's still on my channel, go watch it. Cause in this video, I explain the concept of EQ cleanup in more detail. And in this video, I'm going to shortly show you how you can do the EQ cleanup. And I'm going to share with you my updated project files so you can see which frequencies I have cut out for each instrument. So how does this work? Well, let me show you by using the orchestral MIDI mockup, which I have shared with you all in the first video of this masterclass, how to create realistic orchestral mockups. Well, um, I've loaded up in uh, Logic Pro X and I'm going to show this concept by using the cello instrument, cause the cello instrument is a great instrument uh, to show you how this EQ cleanup works. Um, I've put a loop on it and I'm going to play it and I'm going to show it to you by using an EQ plugin and I use the FabFilter Pro EQ plugin, but it doesn't matter which EQ plugin you use. Just use an EQ plugin which visually let you see where the frequencies are of the typical instrument. That's important but it doesn't matter if you are using a stock plugin, FabFilter Pro or another EQ plugin. What you need to do is you have to search for the first big peak of the instrument. And in this case, it's this one, this peak. And the simple concept of EQ cleanup is that everything that is under, uh, below that first peak, you can cut that away. These are all unwanted frequencies, low rumble, which you don't hear when you are only listening to this solo instrument. But imagine if you have a composition with more than, let's say 50 instruments, and they all contain those low frequencies, those low unwanted frequencies, that they stack up to an enormous pile of low rumble, which eventually, harm, damage your composition, your mix and your master file. So you don't want that. You have to cut them out. And as I told you before, you just look for the first peak, then you apply an EQ cut. And I always use the 24 dB, but you can also use an 18, 12 or six. That's up to you. I use the 24. And this is something that you do for all your instruments within your composition. And to make it easy for you, I have updated my project file and I've added the EQ cuts in this doc document. So when you are using the same libraries as I am using for show opener, this orchestral template, then, you're, then you are just fine with the project file and you can apply the EQ settings um, as uh, written down in the document. If you're using different libraries than I use, then just apply the concept of EQ cleanup like I just showed you and it all should be fine. So if you appreciated this video, uh, this free masterclass, how to create realistic orchestral mockups, smash that like button, share it with your friends, share it on social media, and I will see you next Thursday when I will be talking about 
delay how to create a good sounding tight orchestra. See you next Thursday.